everybody, Jason here, and today we're going to go through a quick getting started on working with custom themes, big box custom themes and views in Visual Studio as a visual editor. So let's go ahead and get started here. What I've got loaded up right now is the visual the download for Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. Uh, if you go to Google and you just type in Visual Studio Community, it should take you to this page as the first link. And you're just going to go ahead and hit the download button and run the setup process. The setup process, I'm not going to show. It's it's very, very lengthy. Keep that in mind. It will take a long time to get up and running. Um, most likely, it'll take an hour or almost an hour to install. So keep that in mind. It will take a long time. Um, and uh, uh, but it, but it's 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 easy. There's no you can just leave everything at the default options. You don't have to tweak anything. Uh, just keep hitting next in the install process. There's all kinds of stuff you can customize, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would just say, I would unless you know what you're doing, I would say just always keep it um, at the default settings for the, for the install process. And that will add Visual Studio to your computer. And then, once you have Visual Studio installed, in your LaunchBox folder, which is what I have opened up for us right here, you'll notice that the themes folder is a little bit different with the latest releases. Now, as of right now, it's only the latest beta that has this, but the latest official version for 6.7 will be out very soon. And 6.7 and up um, is what's gonna have these new features. So in your themes folder, you have the default folder. And in the default folder, you'll notice you have two new files in here and, and a couple new folders as well. You have bigboxtheme.cs project, that means C sharp project, and bigboxtheme.sln, which stands for solution. So you don't want to open up the default defaults in here, because if you make any changes to the, to the default theme, it will be overwritten when you restart Bigbox or Launchbox. So you don't want to touch this theme. It's it's meant to be copied. So if we if we take default and we copy that folder. So I'm just going to uh, select the folder and I'm going to press Control C, Control C, and then I'm going to press Control V, and Windows will make a copy of the folder for you, and then you can rename this folder to be exactly what you want the new theme to be called. So in this case, I'm going to call it Custom. And now, once you open up this folder, you'll have your solution and your project file inside this folder. And all you have to do, really, it'll work if you click on either of these, the project file or the solution file. But double click on the solution file for now, and Visual Studio will load up for you. I have it loading up here on my other monitor, so give me a second and I'll drag it over. <coughs> you might be prompted uh, to uh, choose which app will open it. And you also will see a bunch of new folders added. That's normal when it, when it loads up. So here's Visual Studio. This will pop up. If you get a, a, uh, uh, a p screen that pops up that asks you which app to run, you should see an option that says Visual Studio Version Selector, um, and that's the option to choose when you, when you start this up. So here is Visual Studio. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of all this stuff. Your, your Visual Studio should look very similar to this. However, this is the enterprise version of Visual Studio because obviously I need the enterprise features for LaunchBox development. You don't. You don't need anything anything more than the community edition, uh, which is free. So keep that in mind. Things may, might look a little bit different, especially if you if you choose the a different theme during the setup process. You get to choose whether you want a blue theme or a white theme or a black theme. Obviously, I chose the dark uh, black theme here. But everything should look very very similar overall. So just to give you a quick overview of Visual Studio, you have this is where the all your content will be and on the right you have your solution and all the files in your solution all, all the files in your project you can expand the folders here and then under here you have your properties for whatever is selected uh, and that is important as, as well so <clears throat> in your project you have you have two different folders here here you have styles and you have views um, it should be fairly obvious what these do the styles generally apply to all of a certain type in LaunchBox or in BigBox, not LaunchBox, in BigBox. So for example, all ListBox text items, for example, if we open up ListBox item style, 
all items in the in the list box the test the text lists in big box are going to use these styles here uh, you'll notice that the styles don't have any visual editors uh, attached to them however if you click on something for example this uh, this border here you'll notice in the properties grid on the right you have a way to expand all of these and change things in a semi visual state so if you wanted to change the opacity of this it's it's easy to do you you just type in a different instead of hundred percent you can type in fifty percent uh, if you want to make it invisible it's easy to do you just modify the drop down so there's all kinds of options you can do here and you don't have to it, this takes a lot of the guesswork out to have this property grid over here so this is very very important you'll also notice if you rest your mouse over it it will give you a description of everything in the list as well so this is very powerful even without the visual editor for the styles you can still use the property grid and have a really good concept of what's going on just by browsing through all these different options over here but of course the views are where the majority of things are at so let's load up for example let's take a look at the wheel games view here so this is going to be a fairly complicated view um, and you'll notice that uh, it comes up you have the visual view on top and you have the text view on the bottom so any changes you make on top are going to end up on the bottom over here and and vice versa so anything you do down here ends up on top as well and you can adjust this of course to to be able to fit it um, let's see uh, to get started we have for example if you select this grid here you'll notice that it highlights the grid that you're working on with these blue lines it's easy to adjust with just by dragging dragging things here uh, you do have a toolbox over here with uh, WPF controls that you can literally just drag over uh, so that helps although to be honest I don't use that too much in my own development that's something that you can play with you have all these different controls you can work with to, to add new things um, and you can drag that stuff either in down into the the code or over onto the visual editor um, obviously you lose a little bit little bit of control that way you're gonna have to you're gonna have to drag some stuff around and work with things uh, but you can also click on things up here and it will highlight down here what thing is selected so it's it's still a relatively complicated process but combined with the visual editor and the text and the ability to see all the different properties that you can set for a particular item in your XAML code. Um, the combination of those things really makes things a lot easier to work with as far as making tweaks. Obviously, if, if all you want to do is resize something, it's super, super simple. It's, it's that simple. Uh, and you can just save it. You press Control S to save it. And the, wheels, the wheel games view will automatically be updated in Big Box for this particular theme. So this is really, really, really easy to do. Um, as far as making simple changes you can you can add whatever you want with the toolbox uh, so it's very very flexible as far as everything you can do here we have added some more views uh, and obviously all these styles in the latest uh, the latest versions of betas and and the official version of uh, 6.7 which will be out soon so lots of options here uh, and this is just the getting started so there's there's I'm not gonna go in too much detail with anything specific we will be putting out some more tutorials here uh, shortly I will be uh, maybe once a week or something like that I'll be putting out a tutorial on how to do specific things um, so I'm not gonna go too much into that just so you know how to load up a theme in big box though I am gonna start up big box we did tweak the wheel games view here a little bit we adjusted we adjusted things to make uh, to, to change the sizes here so if I pull up uh, I'm gonna go into my launch box folder and just start up big box <coughs> Give that a second to load. Okay. And if we... Whoops. Okay, and we go into... Uh, I'm going to unlock my options here first. And then if we go into options and general or no it's views now you'll see we, we're on, I'm on the default theme but we added the custom theme so if we hit uh, enter on that we'll pull up the custom theme 
And if we back up a little bit uh, and go into the games view, the wheel games view, you'll notice the logos on the left are a lot bigger because we adjusted that. So simple size changes are actually really, really easy to do um, with that visual editor. So that is good. And it's a lot, it's a lot more than that. There's all kinds of stuff you can do, obviously. It's fully flexible. But uh, that gives you an example of how to use the theme that you're working on. When you, um, all you have to make sure to do when you make a change is to save. Uh, you don't need, obviously Visual Studio has build support. So building the solution and all that stuff, you don't need to do that currently. All you need to do is save and everything will be ready for use in Big Box. Uh, so that is the most rudimentary beginner tutorial on how to work with this stuff. Obviously, there's all kinds of experimentation you can do because you have access to the property grid. Um, even, even like a color selector here you have. Um, styles, one quick thing with the styles, like I said, these apply everywhere. So if you look at user control style, uh, if you want to change the background to everything in, in uh, Big Box, the, what the blank background color is, that's, this is where you change that. It's all right here. So things that were that'll that will apply everywhere or everywhere of a particular type. This is where that stuff is located. Then you have uh, thumbnail, list box style. So uh, in these are basically the, the thumbnail boxes in the uh, the main views in Big Box. Uh, this is what defines those styles. You have fonts, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, you have thumbnail list box item style. This is the list box itself, the surrounding box, and then this is the individual items. Uh, list box style, this is your vertical text lists. Um, you can change the font on this stuff and the background and the colors and all that stuff. So if we change the, um, if we go into a list box item style, which is the items that's, that are in the list, you see the colors here for blue that you can change to whatever you want. Uh, for the particular list box items. Then you have horizontal list box style that's used for the horizontal boxes and the same box items. And box list box style, um, I'm trying to remember exactly what this is. I think that's also related to, to the boxes. So, and of course we'll be adding more of these styles, make things more generic over time. Uh, there's plenty we can do. You could even potentially add, do that yourself, although I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on, on that right now. But this at least provides you with a visual editor. Um, I've done a lot of research to determine what the best possible solution is. And I'm convinced that Visual Studio is indeed the best possible solution uh, for editing these things visually. Uh, I, I understand it's a little bit more complicated than a lot of other products out there, but this is the best solution as far as the most flexible. And I really think you can get up and running with this relatively quickly. Uh, it shouldn't be too daunting. Obviously, you've got tons of options, but now that you know what's important, you load up the solution, you have your, your documents over here. You have your solution explorer that, that gives you all the different files you can load up and you have your property grid. And those are the important things that you will need in order to work with uh, the custom themes visually. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, I am gonna do some more tutorials such as like animated GIFs um, and stuff like that. Uh, so that is coming. Um, but let me know uh, what you guys want as far as the tutorials, uh, and I will uh, get those out to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.